Amidst debates of zoning of the presidency ahead of the 2023 general election, a coalition of civil society groups have kicked against calls to jettison the conventional rotational arrangements in the country. Rising from their expanded national executive meeting in Abuja, president of the group, Basi Etok Williams, expressed worry over the rationale behind agitation against power shifts to the south, saying the north has had its fair share of the nation's leadership. Explaining that there has been a gentleman agreement on power rotation between the North and South since the return of the present democratic dispensation in 1999, the group noted that the concept should be sustained as it had remained a unifying factor in the corporate existence of Nigeria. The presidential election in Nigeria is highly influential and powerful, as well as all confers greatest sense of belonging to the Federation on any ethnic or geopolitical zone that produces the President. This is no doubt as deepened the agitation for power shift by various regions and we thus resolve to employ all major political parties to have a deep think ahead of their convention and zoning by ensuring that the country remains united and sense of belonging is given to all by zoning the presidential ticket to the southern part of the country come 2023. The group, however, called for an understanding that will see power return to the south in 2023. While we know power is not given a la carte, we will deploy our structures across the country and within the various political parties to further project the call and agitation to save the soul of our dear country. Northern regions have been in power since 2015. And after exhausting the constitutional eight years by 2023, it is expected that power will rotate to the south. This is expedient and will guarantee peace and unity of our great country. They further urged political gladiators across the divide to imbibe the culture of national interest, especially as the nation is already overwhelmed with myriads of challenges. CNN News.